Well, let me well, tell you a little bit about how yes. we started working together. We just identified that there were some issues that we needed to address. If we, I think you say this, if you already knew how to do it, you would have done it a long time ago. <laughs> right. Anyone that says, oh, I know how to do it, but they don't do exactly. it. Exactly. Really. So we interviewed three different national consultants, you being one of them. But what tipped the scales to you is that you had some practical steps. I didn't need someone who would say, here's your issues you need to address. I need somebody to say, here's your issues and here's some ways to tackle those issues. So that's how we came to know MVI. Oh, definitely. And, uh, and, but all I know is that these Cracker Jacks, you know, fast folks, I went down there and they had patient chairs, they had it going, they, they, Rhonda just totally got that relationship between people development and quality. One of the things that I have learned in my almost 29 years yes. with hospice is that it's all about relationships. Yes. It's all about relationships. So in the days that I started, I remember I was hired, I went out and watched one admission the next day, here's yes. your caseload. Yes. So I didn't even know how to train people, but over the years we've you know acquired more knowledge, we've implemented more things, but the first workshop of yours that I attended was people development. And to me, that is a wonderful entrance level to the model. And it was so wrapped up into the relationship and teaching that relationship building to your new staff that when I came home and we had engaged with you and you were coming to our agency and I wanted to impress the teacher, <laughs> so we wanted to have our dedicated teaching space. And that was my first task that I worked on. And yeah, this is creating an atmosphere and environment because yes. a master teaching organization, you can, you can just feel the right. intention behind it. Well, yes. and, and it was a visual of people development's important to yes. this agency. And we, we took it maybe a step further in how we named it. Um, our name of our teaching center is the Pulse Center. And that was based on, it is the hub, it is the central component of what we do, is we are teachers. Right. And everyone has a heart. Even, unfortunately, deceased people have a heart, but it's not functioning. If I have a dyspnea. Or at least in, in the domain we know. <laughs> exactly. If you and I are sitting here and we have an arrhythmia, we can't function yeah. at our highest level. So that teaching center is our heart to teach the heart of hospice, teach the art of hospice, and to stress the importance of people development. Yeah. So if we're not in sync, if we're not in rhythm, we can't perform as well. So yes. therefore the Pulse Center, our EKG is empowerment, knowledge, and growth. So to me, just that sends a message of the importance of people development. We had an artist to come in and paint murals on the walls of the car in the driveway so yeah. that we can start our visit the signaling. design. Exactly. So when we have the community who comes through, we have a community room that we use for public events and that sort of thing, but they have to go through the corridor where our car is painted on the wall. So we get a lot of questions. What's this about? Yes. As well as we have some phrases painted on the walls that hopefully stimulate questions about what is it we do. And I, I think part of people development, that creation of atmosphere, no, what, what are we doing in most organizations? We're changing people's thought patterns. <laughs> and, and, and frankly, best practice is you have to deprogram nurses. That we're not being paid, you're not getting a paycheck for doing the, the care. We're paying you to teach and guide people through this experience. And that's, or, and Deprogramming uh, CFOs not to do budgets <laughs> or true. allocations. Or and it's been somewhat of a culture change, like you were saying, yes. to get to, to, to have nurses to grasp that when they are teaching someone how to do the care, you're performing a great service. Yes. That we are not there at 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. So we've created some teaching guides, some troubleshooting guides. No, and you're, to, you're, you're teaching materials just ooze with quality and thought. And I, you know, I think people pick up on that. 
it was when we started out with you, I remember thinking, this is common sense. Yeah. It, in fact, I had one of my staff members who attended the, the workshop where you came to our office. She said, well, this is kind of like the way we used to do it. And I said, yes, and we've grown and we've taken on some things and we've changed some focus that we need right. to refocus. And that was kind of how we came up with our model name, yes, focus. Yes. Focused opportunities create unified success. So I'm, I'm kind of about naming things. No, 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 branding. <laughs> Got, that, hey, that's part of a master teacher will, things that stick. And so kind of reteaching staff that we're gonna refocus yes. on how to provide support to people when we're not there. And the teaching tools took a lot of time. I was gonna say everything sounded easy, but it's not been easy, it's not been fast. It's not been as, I'm one of those that can see the big picture and I wanna get there tomorrow, yeah. versus I need my detailed people to get on board with me to tell me how to get there. And then as we get there, you know, buying buy-in, getting everything in, in place, and having quality tools to see this is your creation. This is of yes. your knowledge. Yeah, the, the ownership. And uh, having staff who can make that look, look lovely and professional. So it brings in those indirect folks to buy into our focus. Yeah, absolutely. I, I'm always amazed that, you know, we're all, most best practices or best known practices, better said, tend to simplify on all levels because quality is increased when focus is, is raised rather than trying to do a lot of stuff. That's where too many programs will destroy a hospice's focus. Uh, but just how much time we devote to making things simple, you know, and the details, the minutia. But that's, you know, anyone that's an expert in their field will know the minutia of that field. And we're just trying to get it all out there yeah. so that more people want to come to serve with us yes, yes. and also more people want to be served by us. No, absolutely, absolutely. So. so we thank you for all you've done for us. All right. Thank you, Rhonda. You're welcome.